The financial market and the stock exchange are of utmost importance for the transition of our economy. We will see it again like we have seen it so often in the past. Those economies with developed financial markets, they will transition much faster, much sustainable and with much higher growth rates. Yes, thank you Christoph Bojan for the opener. I borrowed it from your YouTube Shorts channel and say welcome to Austrian Stocks in English presented by Palfinger, the new and weekly English spoken summary for the Austrian stock market. Positioned every Sunday in the mostly German language podcast Christian Drastil, Wiener Börse, Sport, Musik und mehr. My name is Christian and I will be later on joined by the absolutely smart Allison. This week in our 21st Austria Weekly. Week 36 was a little bit of a comeback week for Austrian stocks, but not for all. The ATXTR gained 2.14% to 6,248 points. Österreichische Post was the top mover and jumped over 30 euros for the first time since May. Banks were also strong. The ATX committee decided that Andritz will replace First Alpine in the ATX 5 at the settlement of September. The ATX remains unchanged. News came from Valneva, Zumtobel, Immofinanz, S. Immo, Andritz, OMV, FACC, CIA Immo and Lansing. And these news are spoken now by the absolutely smart Alison. Thank you, Christian, for calling me absolutely smart. And these were the news of week 36, Monday. Valneva, Valenva, an Austrian-French specialty vaccine company, announced that the Lancet Infectious Diseases, the Lancet ID, a peer-reviewed medical journal, has published the company's pivotal phase 3 clinical data for its inactivated, whole, virus COVID-19 vaccine, VLA 2011 Carlos Jaramillo, chief medical officer of Valneva, said. This Lancet publication is a strong scientific and developmental validation of the work that has been accomplished at Valneva. We are pleased that more detailed results on our inactivated COVID-19 vaccine are now available to the scientific and broader public health communities. Valneva, weekly performance, 1.90%. Tuesday, Zumdabel. The Lightning Group Zumdabel continued the positive development of revenues from the 2021-22 financial year in the first quarter of 2022-23. Group revenues rose by 8.4% to Euro 313.7 million Q1 2021-22, Euro 289.3 million, and by 6.6% .6 after an adjustment for foreign exchange effects. This growth was, however, contrasted by a sharp rise in the price of input factors as well as an increase in the value of the U.S. dollar. Against this backdrop, EBIT declined slightly from Euro 20.1 million to Euro 19.0 million. Net profit of Euro 10.9 MN Q1 2021-22, Euro 13.4 MN, was also influenced by a decline in financial results following the negative valuation of hedges. The general increase in prices and weak global supply chains had a negative effect not only on the Zumdabel Group but also on the worldwide economy. We have been increasingly able to pass on these higher prices to our customers, but there are limits as to what we can do. We also invested in important strategic areas to be well prepared for future challenges, CEO Alfred Felder comments. Zumdabel, weekly performance, minus 7.56%. Imo Finance, real estate company Imo Finance has sold the BBC Gamma office building in Prague to the Passer Invest Group, a leading real estate investor and developer in the Czech Republic. The building has roughly 31,000 SQM and is rented in full to a single tenant through a long-term lease. The transaction was concluded at a premium to the book value as of June 30, 2022. Imo Finance, weekly performance, minus 1.80%, SMO. Following the completion of the mandatory offer by CPI Property Group in relation to SMO AG, the Supervisory Board and the Acting Chairman of the Management Board, Bruno Edenor, have today mutually agreed that Edenor's Management Board contract will be terminated as the end of September 6, 2022. Mr. Edenor's task will be assumed by Herwig Felsdorfer, member of the Management Board of SMO AG. Edenor concludes, the time at SMO was certainly characterized by many challenges, 
but above all by great cooperation with all colleagues and many enriching experiences. The relationship with CPI's management has always been one of mutual respect, while at the same time there are sometimes very different ideas regarding the future direction of the company. In this respect, it is a good time for me personally to leave SMO in the knowledge that I have fulfilled my responsibility to the shareholders and in the confidence that CPI will treat the remaining shareholders, the excellent team and the high-quality portfolio with care, SMO, weekly performance, minus 0.22%. Wednesday, Andritz, International Technology Group Andritz has received an order from Vietnam Electricity EVN, a leading economic group in the energy sector in Vietnam, to supply the complete electro mechanical equipment and technical services for the Eilie Hydropower Plant Extension Project located in South A District, Kantum Province, and Chu Pa District, GLI Province, in Vietnam, Andritz, weekly performance, 1.10%, OMV, the special audit, commissioned by the Supervisory Board of Austrian Oil, Gas and Chemical Group OMV in connection with a possible misconduct by former CEO Rainer Seal has been completed. It has been conducted by the German law firm Gleis Lutz and the Austrian law firm HBA, according to the investigation report presented to and discussed by the supervisory board. The former chairman of the OMV executive board, Rainer Seal, acted within the scope of his authorization when making changes to gas supply agreements in 2018. Indications of deviations from internal company guidelines were found in the conclusion of a side agreement with an OMV executive and in the conclusion of the sports sponsorship agreement with the Zenit St. Petersburg Football Club. Nevertheless, legal experts are of the opinion that both agreements were concluded in a legally binding manner, explains lawyer Johannes Sink of the law firm HBA, despite established deviations from internal company guidelines. No actionable misconduct on the part of the former CEO could be determined. As a result, there are no further reasons preventing the discharge of the former executive at the next annual general meeting according to Zinc. OMV, weekly performance, minus 2.29%. Thursday, Andritz, International Technology Group Andritz has acquired J. Parpolaoi, a major player in the maintenance and repair of environmental equipment for industrial production and power generation plants in Finland. The company was founded in 2011 and operates sites in Coca-Cola and Kaskinen. This business transaction further strengthens Andritz's air pollution control activities in Finland, making it the leading service provider for inspections, maintenance, mechanical upgrades, spare parts, and workshop repair activities related to filters, scrubbers, flue gas ducts, fans, conveyors, and other equipment in operation between the boiler and the stack. Andritz will offer these services to various industries, such as pulp and paper, biomass, ferrous and non-ferrous metals, chemical fertilizer and other segments. Andritz, weekly performance, 1.10%. Valneva, Austrian-French vaccine company Valneva SCNVBI Vaccines Incorporated announced a partnership in select European markets for the marketing and distribution of pre hev pre-registered sign, hepatitis B vaccine recombinant, adsorbed, the only three. Antigen hepatitis B vaccine approved in Europe. Under the terms of the agreement, specialty vaccine company Valneva will promote and distribute pre hevbri throughout select European countries, which initially include the United Kingdom, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Finland, Belgium, and the Netherlands. Valneva and VBI expect pre hevbri to be available in these countries in early 2023. Valneva, weekly performance, 1.90%. FACC, the aviation industry is recovering according to plan. As a result, Austrian-based aerospace supplier FACC was able to reach its objective of welcoming 200 new employees on board by the end of the year. This means that the company's workforce has now surpassed the 3,000 mark. The reason for this rapid growth is not only entrepreneurial success. In the last six months alone, new orders exceeding USD 500 million were secured, but also FACC's attractiveness as an employer. We are very proud of our 3,000 employees who work at FACC every day to provide the global aircraft industry with innovations made in Austria, emphasizes CEO Robert Matchlinger. All our employees display a passion for the aerospace industry. This innovative strength is also the reason why we continue to cause a stir internationally with new solutions. Due to the excellent order situation, the company has set itself the target of taking on a further 100 employees by the end of the year. With an order book in excess of USD 5.5 billion, strong growth is forecast for the coming years as well.
FACC, weekly performance, 1.71%, CAMO, CAMO, the property company specializing in high-quality and sustainable office space, opened its latest high-rise project, one, in Frankfurt. After four years of construction, CAMO will celebrate the opening this evening at a ceremony with around 300 invited guests. One was developed as a green and efficient office building that meets both the strict criteria of the EU taxonomy and tenants' increased demands. CAMO, weekly performance, minus 0.47%. Friday, Lensing, the Lensing Group, world-leading provider of wood-based specialty fibers, has signed an electricity supply contract with green power producer Enery and Energy Steiermark to finance a photovoltaic plant in the Dutz-Glansberg region, Styria. The electricity generated will supply the fiber and pulp plant at the Lensing site after commissioning from the fourth quarter of 2023. The electricity supply contract is limited to 20 years. Lensing, weekly performance, 3.23%. And now bye-bye from Allison. And Christian, we wish you a great week. Hear you next Sunday. Oh,